Can I be honest with you? Your boy wants to be jacked. I want to be like, bacow, bacow. You know what I mean? Like left, right. I want to be able to walk into a place and just like kiss my arm. And people don't look at it sadly. But then you're just a jerk. You walk into a place, you kiss your arms. I don't think I'm going to be friends with you. Not making judgments, right? I can be swayed. Maybe you can convince me that you're the guy to hang out with. But you're starting a few paces back. You walk into a restaurant and you go, you kiss your biceps. Or if you're at the pool. Or if you go into the bar from the pool and you don't put a shirt on. I do that too. I do that too. If you post pictures of yourself on Instagram without a shirt flexing your abs, you're starting a few steps behind. I do that too. The thing is, um, who is this that said this? I don't remember. I remember watching Zeitgeist, which was a documentary from the early 2000s, mid 2000s that uh, gave me panic attacks. It was a doc- documentary about how money's not real and all religions are based off astronomy and uh, it freaked me out, man. And it was compelling. It'd be worth watching as an adult. Like I was an adult then, I guess, allegedly. I was like 22 or whatever when I watched it. But a decade later, it'd be interesting to rewatch that documentary and see if it holds up and if the claims made in it are actually legitimate. Um, but it really freaked me out. Like I first panic attack I ever had was after watching that documentary and realizing how spurious all of the systems that we take for granted of the fact that the lights turn on and that there's clean drinking water and that money means anything. All of that is just so, and yo, uh, Noah Yuval Harari touched on this in his book, Sapiens. So give me like panic attacks. The reason I bring that up is because there's, um, sort of like a backdrop of some person. I have no idea who this person is doing a monologue behind, you know, images of something. I don't even recall, but basically the takeaway is this is the most ramble. This is why I have a podcast because if I talk to people in in person like this, they, they just tune out immediately. They're like, I don't know what the hell this guy's talking about. And I'm going to be polite, but I'm not staying tuned the whole time. The reason I brought that up was because something to the effect of this monologue was, you know, if you, if you covet your intelligence, you know, one day your brain's going to fade. If beauty is what you desire, one day you'll be old and wrinkly. If your physical fitness is what you are looking for and gives you value in yourself, eventually you're not going to be fit. And I think it's a very Buddhist principle in that all things come to go, including the good. But the other side of that coin, let me, I gotta gotta blow up my knees, uncrossing my legs. The other side of that coin is that the things that are terrible in our lives, they come to go too. They come to go. Boom, there it is. If you're still watching, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It's the easiest way that you can contribute. It costs you nothing, and it helps me out a lot with the algorithm. So if you were into this, uh, let me know. And uh, see you on the next clip, guys. For full episodes, you can get them on Spotify and iTunes, as well as subscribe to the YouTube channel. I post them on Sundays and Wednesdays every week. All right, guys. Peace.